welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I feel like I haven't filmed a video in so long because I haven't. My goal for 2018 though is to film a lot more and I'm hoping that I can make that happen. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some s'mores cupcakes. Who doesn't love s'mores? I think you guys are gonna love these cupcakes. Let me show you what they look like. This is what they look like. You've got graham cracker on the bottom, which gives the cupcake a nice little crunch. It's so good. And then chocolate cake, and then you have a marshmallowy type of icing, drizzled with some more graham cracker and some more chocolate on top. I think you guys are gonna love these. If you love s'mores, then this is gonna be your new favorite cupcake. I like s'mores, I'm not obsessed with s'mores, but these cupcakes have become one of my top five favorite cupcakes I have ever made. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Any questions and comments, leave them down below. And if you'd like to see how I made these s'mores cupcakes, then please keep watching. First up, we're going to be making the crust of our cupcake, so I'm just adding one and a fourth cups of graham cracker crumbs along with five tablespoons of melted butter and then five tablespoons of sugar to a bowl and I'm just gonna be mixing that all together until it becomes a sand-like consistency. I'm just mixing that together with just a fork. Then once you have the consistency that you're looking for, you can just add a tablespoon to each of the bottom of your cupcake liners and then you just want to press that down a little bit just using your fingers just so that it's not just sitting there but that it is going to be pressed down to form a crust and then you're just going to pop that into the oven for about seven minutes at 325 degrees fahrenheit next we can start our cupcake process so i'm just adding one cup of all-purpose flour along with one cup of sugar and then I'm adding in six tablespoons of any type of cocoa powder. I used the Hershey's cocoa powder. And then just adding in a teaspoon of baking soda along with a half a teaspoon of salt. Then I'm just gonna mix that together with my stand mixer using a paddle attachment until all of that is completely combined. Once that's all combined, you can start your wet ingredients. So I'm just adding one egg along with a half a cup of buttermilk and a half a cup of vegetable oil. And then you just wanna keep mixing that on medium until all of your wet ingredients are completely combined with your dry ingredients. And then lastly for our cupcakes, on the side I'm going to be adding a half a cup of boiling water along with 3 fourths teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm just going to mix those together completely till those are combined and then I'm adding them into my batter. And that'll be your last step, you just want to make sure that all of this is completely combined before adding it to your cupcake pan. And then I'm just going to add my batter to the cupcake pan. You're just going to want to fill it so that the whole entire thing, the crust and the batter, is about three-fourths way full. And then you're just going to pop that into the oven for about 17 to 19 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. While our cupcakes are baking in the oven, we can go ahead and start our meringue. I'm just adding in four egg whites along with one cup of sugar a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm just mixing all of this together on a double boiler on a medium heat. And you just wanna keep mixing until all of your sugar is dissolved or you pull out a thermometer and it gets to about 120 to 140 degrees. And then you know that your meringue is done. And then I'm just taking that off of the stove and I'm adding that back into my stand mixer. And I am going to be beating this for about five to seven minutes. It's going to take a while and you're gonna wonder what's going on, why it's not changing, and when it's gonna start looking like icing. And I promise, just give it some time, go walk away, go watch some TV, do something, keep yourself busy. It will start to set up. And then once it does, you just wanna make sure that it's formed some stiff peaks. If it's not a stiff peak, then you want to keep mixing, and then you also don't want to make you want to make sure that you don't overmix. So you'll see when mine's done that it forms some stiff peaks, and that's how you know it's time to ice. As you can see here, this is what your stiff peaks should start to look like. You just want to make sure that they stay in one position once you're done mixing, and then you can go ahead and add that to your piping bag and start icing your cupcakes. You do wanna make sure that your cupcakes are completely cooled before icing because meringue is very fragile to work with when it comes to setting up correctly. 
So I'm just using my round tip, not my biggest one, my medium size, and I'm just piping a big swirl on top of these. And then I'm just going to be adding my s'mores toppings. So I'm starting with some chocolate sauce or whatever you want to use as your chocolate and I'm adding this to the tops of my meringue. And then lastly, I'm just using some leftover graham cracker bits and I'm going to be adding those to the very tops of these s'mores cupcakes and that is all there is to this recipe. to these s'mores cupcakes. I love the way that these came out and I think you guys are going to as well. They're super easy. That icing is not really something that I normally do here on my channel. So it's nice to mix it up a little bit and the longer that these sit, the more that the icing tastes like marshmallow. Y'all, these are so dang good. You're gonna love them. If you recreate these cupcakes, please let me know. I would love to see them or hear how they went. If you have any questions, leave them down below and all the ingredients to this recipe will be in the description box down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!